Uh, the heavens opened earlier and the rain, quite frankly, hasn't relented at all here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal versus Leicester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Number 34, Granit Xhaka. And number 8, Martin Odegaard. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Thank you, Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Running with the ball confidently. Chances on. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Gabriel Jesus! There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And he's beaten him here. Just can't get it past him. Alexander Zinchenko. Applying vigorous pressure. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Couldn't grab hold of it. And there it is, a goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here it is again. And the striker does everything right. Hitting it across the goalkeeper, making it difficult for him. And then a player coming in for the rebound. What a good goal it is. Everything right from the striker's point of view. So the ball is rolling again at 1-0. 
Indian Jeez Brijo. Martin Erdegaard. Granite Jacka. An encouraging Arsenal move. And he's made headway. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And he's fired over the corner. And reading it absolutely superbly. Wesley Fofana. And you can sense the threat is there. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Martin Odegaard. Jesus. Martin Odegaard. And beyond the last defender, offside. Here, pass needs to be a bit better. Leicester moving the ball with purpose. Opportunity it is. And the referee blows for a foul. to give them the lead here and the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like well as you can see it was touch and go wasn't it but it ends up being the perfect penalty great strike very instructive to see how Arsenal respond to that setback and they've won the ball back following that challenge and he could really get at the opposition across there that was decidedly ordinary Granit Xhaka Gabriel Jesus well, the counter chance looks very real. But ultimately, up a cul de sac. Wesley Fofana. Barnes. Possession lost by the Foxes here. And the line here tickets for the next game are available for sale. Bukayo Saka. Martin Odegaard. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Jesus. Martin Odegaard. Xhaka. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. An alert piece of defending. Ndidi. Retaining possession proving difficult. And it's Gabriel Jesus. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending.
Gabriel. On to Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Excellent challenge. Well, the stats show us that Leicester just haven't had that much of the ball. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Real chance. Really classy goalkeeping. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Alexander Zinchenko. It's with Erdogan. Gabriel Jesus. Intercepting it intelligently. Barnes. Read it superbly to take back possession. Granit Xhaka and it's Gabriel Jesus big chance to get them on terms and it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper Arsenal level Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Well, it has taken a Herculean effort for them to get back to level pegging under these trying circumstances. Tielemans. Now in Didi. Harvey Barnes. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Chalar Zayunchu. Tielemans there to take it away Gabriel Jesus that is that for the first half here and a more than satisfactory first half showing from Martin Odegaard sum up his performance for us well it was a vital goal and at a crucial time you have to say certainly changes the complexion of the game now but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Harvey Barnes. Tielemans. Dangerous looking attack. A gift for any goalkeeper. Alexander Zinchenko. Advantage, Arsenal. Farsi. Gabriel Jesus. 
Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Jesus. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. So the action underway again, and certainly the onus is on Leicester to come up with a reply here. Daka. Madison with it. And dispossessed. Not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned. And it is a second book about offence. That's the end of the story for him. And it doesn't surprise me, Derek. He's played on the edge today. Partey. Here's Gabriel Jesus. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Barnes. Well, they know they need to stop him. Kelechi Iannaccio waiting. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. An important interception. 30 minutes to go then. Zuyunchu. And back with Thomas. Thomas. Well, they keep the ball moving. Iannaccio! Not to be, and still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. Now, what can they do from here? Madison? Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. Granit Xhaka. On to Jesus. Martin Odegaard. 
Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. James Madison. Indeedy. Barnes. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Now can they create something? And the referee has given them a corner. Substitution for the time for the change now. Coming off the pitch, number 22, Kiernan Dewsbury Hall. Time for a change then. Corner kick played in. The crossbar got in the way. Terrific piece of anticipation. And over it comes. And in the end, no damage done. Nicola Pepe. Now with Jesus. On to Pepe. Moving into the advanced position. Bukayo Saka. Gabriel Jesus. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Can he take advantage? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Great opportunity. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Playing it in, and he clears the danger. Martin Odegaard, this looks more than decent. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. Who can he pick out? Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. Well, there's no getting away from it. Arsenal are cruising, Stuart. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Going well. He has time to play it over. Well cleared away, but at the expense of a corner. And taken short. Well, that'll be a free kick.
Can they get one back? And he puts it away confidently. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, how about this? 4-3. Well, not much time left now, and these Arsenal supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. James Madison. Here's Tielemans. And that's an attacking position. It's not too late for them. Can he find the net? And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Tomiyasu, Thomas now, Saka, now Zinchenko, pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents, they've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be, oh marvellous goalkeeping, well it's a top class save from a top class goalkeeper, that's absolutely brilliant, the referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Sure, nothing came of that. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Good bit of pressing. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Martin Odegaard. Thomas now. Nicolas Pepe. Offside, close one. Martin Odegaard and the referee blows his whistle now we can say it officially Arsenal have won this game three points for them what did you make of it all well Derek they didn't dominate the game by any means today but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win